hi everyone and welcome back and in this video uh, before going to talk about the admin dashboard this is the last video we are going to talk about i will just try to group up all the concepts of uh, client side rendering and server side rendering and how we can approach all those things okay so initially we discussed about okay how we can create the the routings okay so we have the routes folder inside source and inside routes you can create a api route api routes let's say you will create a simple folder here that is called api and then you will create a server.ts inside it and inside this you can create plus server.ts And you can define get put post all these set of methods you can create inside the APIs. these are like api routes or then there are page routes let's say i want to create a, a simple to-do app right so i will do is i will create a to-do folder and then inside to-do folder you can create a page.swell page.server.ts page.ts or even you can create a server.ts and what is the use of server.ts to create an API routes? So you can create a in server.ts you can define get put post methods, get put post methods and submit the data and use these APIs in your to-do app. Okay. Now coming to the client side rendering and server side, it's like a swell kit is server side, but it doesn't mean that each and everything you are going to write is server side only here. What most of the times what we do is let's say I created to do component page dot swelt right it will have a simple form let's say it, uh, you are going to create a simple form here right that form will have a validation so what you are going to do is you will submit a you will submit a form and then this form will be submitted to the server side actions okay so this form will be submitted and you will ha handle that inside a page dot server dot ts right inside page.server.ts you can do the validations okay the use uh, whatever the to do input is there and then you can deal with this you can actually access the fetch here and make an api call or you can have some database already there i mean like prisma already there and you can go like inside a lib you already have a db server.ts database.ts which is talking to let's say the prisma because it's all server side and these are like CRUD operation so if from the lib database.ts you are performing all of these together okay so you wrote a simple form and this is a server side action so so you submitted the form server will handle this inside page.server.ts there you get the data of a simple form you validate that and then what you can do with the data because data you have to send it to some other external api or you can do two things from here you can make a simple xhr request you, because you have access to fetch at the server side also and from the cookies you can get the token access token or something if you if the api is protected So you are making an XHR request or what you can do is let's say I already have because Svelte it is a server side on server side you already have the everything set up database queries and all so in lib database.ts you already have a helpers methods which are uh, writing data to the database okay so what you can do is you submit the form and then after submitting you can write the code here and then you can write a database queries and you can persist the data this is all server side it's like you are writing a simple express api endpoint this is also possible or you have an external api which is already the available on some server you can you have access to access token and the fetch on the server side so you can make a call so this is all pure server side because nothing is happening at the client side you have a simple form submit it 
the data is going to the server server is dealing with that data even the data validation is happening at the server side and persisting is happening at the server side or you may be calling an external api to the server so you won't see anything uh, happening at the client side in the network tab because there is no api is happening the server is calling some another api itself so no activity at the client side this is a pure ssr okay now client side when you talk about csr let's move this thing to here for now now let's talk about client side let's say you are writing the same setup same thing but you are doing now you wanted to do now client side stuff means you are not going to submit this form to the page to the server what you are doing is i just have page.svelte that's it inside page.svelte you have created a simple form so there is a simple form and when you submit the form you are using some client side form library you have the data available what you have submitted when you click on submit button so this data you are not going to submit to the server what you will do is you can use these uh, swell kit because on the server side you don't have access you don't have an access to the store there is no concept of server side store you just get the data and make the api call that's it and you can return the response using page data from this page server.ts this is what you can do when it comes to the client side, you can explore all the concepts of the store actions uh, of the Swell JS. You have the simple form. You do the data validation here using there are libraries I will talk about. You submit the form. Now, from here, once the you click on submit, the data validation is done. You can trigger an action. Okay, that action is nothing but it will check initialize the it will get the current access current state of the store. And then it will say, okay, add to do. Okay, so add to do will uh, trigger the action. And then from here, you will make an API call. I mean, these are all are the, the blocks, building blocks I have added. So what you will do is you will make a simple XHR call. And you are making it from the client side. So you know what is the status. And based on the status, you will update the store. Based on the response, you will update the store. So update the store. Okay, initially, once you make the API call, I will set the loading true, error false. And once you get the response, uh, error null, loading false, and you got the data. But that is now inside a store. The data is available inside a store also. And the store data can be populated back to your component. Okay, the form has been submitted. You got the data, new to-do has been added. You will be able to show that inside a to-do list. So like this is a to-do and there can be another route on top of this is which is ID and inside that you have a more components like because this is also a route. So you will be creating a, another component like Okay, I don't like this. So inside this, you will have a page dot swelt. And now the data is inside a store, right? Data is inside a store. You can populate this data from the store anywhere in any of the component which are available. So this is purely client side CSR because we are using all the client side concept of uh, using the store hooks and the external API, the client is making XSR request to the external API, which is adding the to-do. And then once the successful response is coming, you are updating the store with the new to-do and then that new to-do is in the store. So that store data will be populated to everywhere, wherever, whoever is subscribing to that store. It's a writable store, okay? So this is the, the main difference. How we do it? We can, we can actually talk to external uh, APIs to different places. You can write your api is here server.ts like let's say add to do you define the get put post in the server.ts and then inside a get put post you can make a call to the external api also instead of having your own database and all okay you can use this libdatabase.ts 
to I mean it's not a it can be lib server.ts which is persisting your data to some database query because it's all server side or from the form you can use fetch call to make an external API call and save the data but when it comes to the client side it's all about using the fetch you have the token access token from some store you get it and you send the request and it's all client side because you you it's all client side because when you click on submit uh, the data is inside a page component you send it to uh, some function actions action will trigger the action will use the store that will make an api call store is nothing but a class you will get the writable store what is the current state and then make an api call get the data update the store that's it so you will make ssr request that will give you either success or failure based on that you will update the store and the data will be populated so this thing here this colorful stuff is all about client side rendering that we are doing everywhere in the react or any client side framework csr you have the form you submit you trigger the action these are the asynchronous action if based on the data you update the store and reflect that but when you comes to server side you don't get all these xsr requests because server is taking care of that and then based on success and failure it will be returning the data and you will be accessing that data in the page data and i mean this these all the concepts of swell kit before we talk about the admin dashboard api you can build a simple to do app you can use the layout you can talk about the form actions you can talk about the load function shared load function which exists in the page.ts and the server side load function which we write in the page.server.ts we can also write the swellkit apis api routes in using inside api folder you can create a server.ts and put your get put post call and you can use those apis because those apis are like express routes get put post node.js express routes you can consume them through these components inside page.server.ts you can make the call to the this external api get the data and this data is available through the load function inside the page components okay this is pretty much about the swell kit stuff now let's get our hands dirty we will create a baseline of admin dashboard app through the layouts we are going to use the custom layouts nested layouts and then we will use simple login form we will x submit a login to the external api get the access token update that token inside a cookies we will write our hooks using hook.server.ts that will validate because that runs at the server side and that will validate okay your authorization token is in the cookies and that is a valid token for valid token we need to make a call if the token is valid then populate the payload outside uh, from the token and set that token data to the event.lockins from the hooks and that data will be available to the load function actions or everywhere inside your application so this is how you will be able to access the data okay that's it guys uh, let's meet uh, in the next video where we are going to build a real world admin dashboard app